Here are some examples of specialized cells that you would find in your body. They share many key features with the generic cell, but they have a few special adaptations. You must remember the following sentences when describing specialized cells. Specialized cells are adapted for specific functions within multicellular organisms. Specialized cells are more efficient in performing specific functions than non-specialized cells. Take a sperm cell. They have a strong tail for swimming the long distance to the egg in the fallopian tube where fertilization normally takes place. You may have a question where they give you a specialized cell and you'll need to suggest how they are adapted for their function or job. By the end of year 10, however, you should have encountered enough different specialized cells that you can recognize some of those adaptations. You will also need to understand the levels of organization within organisms regarding how cells organize themselves to become fully functioning multicellular organisms. You have to learn this order of organization. Let's take a specialized cardiac muscle cell. When you have a collection of these, they form a tissue. Tissues are groups of similar cells with a similar function. Then, with other tissues, they form an organ, and in this case, it is the heart. Organs can be made of many tissues that perform specific functions. The heart needs many different types of connective and muscle tissues working together so that the heart can act as a pump. Organs are then organized into organ systems. So in our example, the heart is part of the circulatory system. The many different organ systems work together to form a functioning organism. Specialized cells, tissues, organs, organ systems to organism. You must remember this order of organization for your exam. The more aware you are of the biology of the human body, the easier this section of the course is. In the next lesson, we will learn about diffusion.